Hello, people. Again, it's another week. Uh, that means we're going to look at another roundup of new game trailers that came out in the last week on Steam. We got the top 10 here. And joining me this week, we have Brandon from HP Critical, who is the co-editor-in-chief. Maybe uh, if you want to just like introduce yourself briefly and then uh, tell us, I don't know, who you are, what you do, and what kind of games you like, and then we'll jump into the game trailers. Of course, of course. Yeah, so like you said, I'm Brandon. I'm the co-editor-in-chief of HP Critical. I also am a part of the podcast crew that comes out every week. You can catch us on all your uh, favorite streaming platforms, as well as YouTube and HP Critical. Um, I'm also the lead streamer on our Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv slash HP Critical. We have streams like three to four times a week, so you can catch us there. Give us a follow if you appreciate that. And yeah, as far as the kind of games that I like... Um, I have like a Switch and PlayStation 5. Those are pretty much the main systems I play. I'm a big Nintendo guy, but I do love my Sony games as well. Of my preferred genre, I would say would be RPGs. I love getting into like a nice long story and going through that and seeing all the twists and turns, getting to know the cast and all that good stuff. That's definitely my preferred genre. Yeah. So without further ado, let's uh, jump to the first one. Oh, damn. Yeah. Some of these like game images are so freaky already. <laughs> Resident Evil Village. Experience survival horror like never before in the eighth major installment in Resident Evil franchise. Resident Evil Village. With detailed graphics, intense first person action and masterful storytelling the terror has never felt more realistic there she is uh, i've seen like so many memes of her already <laughs> it's like She's i can't so beloved. yeah i i can't like think of her as like a scary resident evil villain just because of oh, all yeah, the memes i've gone. seen already that's gone it's yeah. too late one plot hole I never really thought about is like she's extra tall, right? And isn't this her right. house? So why would she not like just build bigger doors? That's a very good question. <laughs> I I wonder if she was always that tall. Yeah. So would would you play this or would you not play this? Yes, but I do want to go in order, you know, and like oh, say, yeah, like, yeah. And get, like the full story. I know. Yeah. I, I definitely want to give this one a try too, but I have just no idea when I would. The next one's called unbeatable white label unbeatable white label a young girl learns a song an exclusive side story set in the world of d cell games upcoming rhythm adventure the music's nice and like it has that like old uh video camera kind of effect going on yeah i noticed that for sure i am oh, intrigued but i did not see any uh gameplay. gameplay or anything like that yeah so i don't know what what it is mm -hmm. let's do the next one which is called unconnected marketeers the description is all in japanese so like sometimes with these i just throw it into google translate and see what happens uh sometimes it works <laughs> sometimes it doesn't a mysterious card ability card was in circulation in the streets the card seemed to contain the secrets of many humans and yokai why who and how the shrine maiden goes to investigate without knowing everything 18th toho project Barrage shooting by Team Shanghai Alice. Okay, so we got vertical shooting up kind of gameplay going on here. Oh wow, it gets like chaotic right away. Like I could be wrong, but I feel like with RE8 down, it's just uh, the out. It's probably just everyone's playing that, and just everything else, just like it feels like first is like all the way up here. Like uh, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And then all the and all the second to ten is like down here, basically. I wonder if a lot of other games kind of just like watch the release cycles of these AAA titles and purposefully like offset their releases to not just get like washed out. Next up, we got Farm Manager 2020. Farm Manager 2021. Get ready for a logistic challenge in the new and even better Farm Manager 2021. Plan your field work according to the seasons. Look after the animals. Take care of machines and staff satisfaction and react to the changing weather. Cows and cows and trees and cows. Oh, you need a windows. Uh, for, for the type of game it is, it does look pretty nice. It does, yeah. I don't think I would give this one a try though, just because like it's not necessarily my style. And I think with these ones, I tend to get lost in like the complexities of the systems that get introduced. Uh, it's not really for me personally. I can definitely appreciate how in depth those kind of games can get, and I can actually understand why a game like this, looking at it, why it's on the top ten of this week. But it's just not for me personally. Okay, let's do the next one, which is Demio or Demio. Demio RPG fans, it's time to unite in virtual reality. Do you have the metal to survive a monster-infested dungeon crawler that, imper that immerses players in the classic fantasy, fantasy RPG genre like never before? Time to find out. Download Demio now. You can live your Yu-Gi-Oh! fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, wait! Yeah, that's a, 
That's exactly what I was thinking too. If cost was not an issue, I would definitely give Demio a try. Uh, but I don't have that headset, so I don't know if I could. I don't have one headset, let alone enough for the for the chums to play this game. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Almighty. Almighty kill your gods. Hunt demons, monsters, and gods solo or online with friends in this action RPG. Run, leap, and fly across islands, ripping your foes to pieces and rebuilding your home with their remains. Bring low the oppressive false gods, protect your kindred, and become almighty. Th wait, I'm sorry. Did that say you're like building houses out of the pieces you're ripping off of the enemies? <laughs> what? Okay. Yeah, that is what it's saying. Okay, there's dance moves, of course. You got to, I guess. If you can't teabag on your enemies, are you really even playing online? Maybe still not for me, though, but it nope. still looks okay. Yeah. Next one is Papetura. I think I want to call it Papetura because that sounds cooler. Yeah, let's go with that. Papetura is an atmospheric point and click adventure game handcrafted entirely out of paper. Little creatures of Pape and Tura will face monsters that will try to burn down their beloved paper world. Oh, I love the art okay. style already. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, there's like handcrafted Ooh, stuff. I don't know if... Like I like the art style and the point and click. I I have no issues with point and click games for uh, at all. Um, but I feel like I just don't know enough. I would need to see like someone doing gameplay this before I could give like a really definitive if I wanted to get this or not for myself. Yeah, to me it seems like it's more about the art than the actual gameplay. So mm -hmm. yeah, I wouldn't necessarily be into that, but I can definitely appreciate the art. It looks really nice. Next one is Distant Kingdoms. Distant Kingdoms, a unique blend of city building, social management, exploration, and adventure gameplay. Distant Kingdoms brings a rich fantasy world to life. Help the humans, dwarves, elves, and orcs of Talum begin a new and in the fabled land of Inneron. It just wouldn't go full screen for me, so I guess we're just not going to watch it full screen, but it's playing now. Oh, Ooh, it's a dragon. I like that dragon design. I don't think this is for me either, especially if you're like starting from scratch. Like, <laughs> it's just, uh, it just, it's not my preferred genre. Yeah, not really myself. I'm, I'm generally not a fan of games that like make you work. <laughs> Next one is Patch Quest. Oh, look at the, uh, like, I haven't, I haven't clicked on the link yet, but based on the description you sent me on Discord, like, it's, 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 it's putting off those uh, keywords. It's like, it's the only roguelike slash Metroidvania fusion. <laughs> it wants you to know that it's like, here's those buzzwords that you all like. Here's, just yeah. put them both there. here's 17 genres. We hope you like at least one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Patch Quest, the only roguelite Metroidvania fusion where you can mount and ride every monster in the game. Every Get ready monster. to leap, glide, tunnel, bite, slither, web sling, and explode your way through a shuffling what? patchwork maze. <laughs> Survival depends on bending the forces of nature to your own ends. Did okay. they just say web sling? Buzzword, Brandon, buzzword. Okay, let's see. Oh my God. Are, are, hold on, before you hit the video, yeah, are yeah, you yeah. looking at these tags? They got Roguevania, they got Roguelites, they got Metroidvania, they got Bullet Hell. Like, what, what are wow, these? like literally, bro, procedural just, generation, local co-op, action oh roguelite, Bullet Hell, twin stick shooter, Roguelite. Twin stick! Oh my god. <laughs> Wait a minute, how does Met now that I'm now that I'm thinking about it, how the hell does Roguelike and Metroid work in the same context? I know. Because Roguelike is procedurally generated, Metroid is going through a map. How does this... <laughs> I feel like this is the kind of game you don't really plan. It just like, this is the kind of game where you listened and implemented every single piece of advice that anyone gave you as you're making it. I can appreciate liking so many different games and like wanting to just do them all, but like it's too much, man. I, I, I was drowning in, in, in genres. Everything is on you like constantly based on this trailer. And I'm just like, I can't do this, man. I can't. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I was I was curious to just see like how the uh reviews look so far to see if they commented on that and the first one under like funny reviews is just quested your mom good game. <laughs> just quested your mom. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh last one of the top 10 is the invisible hand. The invisible hand. Want to get rich quick? Welcome to Ferios where you'll be empowered to pursue wealth and success as a mid-level stockbroker. Your wildest dreams of wealth can come true at the cost of everything else. One little tip. Don't be a loser. I try to adhere to that tip every day, but it only works no sometimes. Unless you're to go all in. I love that trailer. That was a really good trailer. That was a good trailer. Boy, I have no interest in this game. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> the trailer was amazing, but I don't think I would actually want to play this game. Uh, that was the top 10 for the week. 
Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. 